He is the architect of the peace accord which was negotiated between the provincial government and the Taliban in the Swat Valley. But now Sufi Muhammad has decided to pull out of the deal after the government's failure to impose Islamic law, the key issue of an accord worked out in February. The peace deal was then greeted with satisfaction by the locals in the valley. He said if the president was interested in peace, then he himself should have come to Swat. Mullah Fazlullah, who led the insurgency in Swat since 2007, which has left more than a thousand dead and over 200,000 displaced, agreed to the deal, which ended 18 months of bloody clashes. Now they are all back to square one, and once again the onus will be on the military forces to keep the peace. Analysts say that the Taliban violated the pact by moving militants out of their jurisdiction by sending hundreds of his fighters to neighboring Buner district, something that has caused alarms in Islamabad, raising concerns by many that this city is the next target. The peace agreement that was signed on 26th of January has already seen a setback today when uh, Molvi, uh, this uh, Sufi Muhammad, uh, he has decided to wrap up his camp, peace camp in Sawat because uh, he, he, he is of the view that President uh, Asif Rizadari is not serious in uh, implementing the, um, uh, the peace agreement. The American troubleshooters may have come and gone, but Pakistan is certainly finding it more troublesome to deal with the effects of this country's alliance in the so-called war on terror. Something many people here fear will bring the Taliban to the heart of Pakistan. Worried by the deteriorating security in Afghanistan, the United States has since last year stepped up drone strikes in Pakistan. Pakistan has objected to the strikes, calling them a violation of its sovereignty that complicates its efforts to fight militancy. But a Pakistani Taliban commander, Mullah Nazir Ahmed, considered to be a close aide to the Pakistan army, now against them, said in an interview with Al-Qaeda's media arm, that Pakistan was behind U.S. drone attacks on militants. Nazir alleged that Pakistani military and the United States were colluding in U.S. drone attacks and the militants would take their war to the capital Islamabad, something that has revived concerns about the stability of a nuclear-armed country. In Islamabad, Sib Kefi, Press TV.